Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. It's been a few weeks since my last video and today's video is about the ACMA P1 10 watt laser. Now you would have seen my review of the P1S Pro and that was a six watt la laser. And this is a video over to the side of the screen where I'm pointing now, check out that review. Um, had some great results from that six watt laser. So I can only imagine that this 10 watt is gonna be somewhat better. Now, this particular review isn't going to be about the unboxing and the build itself because there's plenty of those videos. I'm going to concentrate mainly around the actual print, uh, the laser itself. Now, the actual laser itself was really easy to do. You know, it probably comes in several different bits, clearly labeled. All the bags of screws and bolts were clearly labeled. The instruction manual that come with it was absolutely bang on. There was no issues with that. I followed the instructions and it came out exactly how it's supposed to come. Really liking the uh, rail for this to protect the wiring. And on here, as you can see with the close up video that I'll be showing in a minute of the whole laser itself, um, you've got the twisty knob to raise and lower the laser head. Um, you also have on here air assist as well, which is really good. In the pack, it doesn't come with the honeycomb bed or the laser, oh, sorry, the laser air assist. These are all additional extras. In the description, I'll add a link for that. And they're quite good prices as well. And I think they actually have a promotion on it as, as I'm recording this video. Depending on when you've actually watched this video, it'll be dependent on if that's still available. The frame itself is lovely and sturdy. Um, you have the key and the emergency stop, which I really like to see that on lasers. It has the protective covering for your eyes, but like I say, make sure you wear your safety goggles when you do these. Um, it's got the on and off switch, and I've got it connected up to light burn. Um, with Lightburn, sign up to it for a free 30 day trial. But then after that, it's a one off fee. And to be honest with you, Lightburn for me is the key for any laser engraving. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to show lots of different things that I'm going to be working on. Now, I've got a particular project that I want to do. So I want to do some uh, baby clo dividers. So I'm going to be laser cutting those and etching and on those, we've got some slate coasters, which we're gonna do, some little wooden coastery type things and some other little projects. So I'm gonna showcase how this laser works. Like I say, got quite a few um, videos about the ACMA P1 six watt, and this is the 10 watt. And I believe they have a 20 watt as well of this as well. Along the X and Y axis, you have this really nice uh, ruler guide. So it helps you sort of lay out your project, but I do use a light burn camera and I have it on some of my other lasers that are built in already. Probably once I've set this up in its location, I'm gonna add the camera to it and that will help me align projects. I just find it so much easier if I'm doing more than one key ring, two key rings or 10 key rings, having that light burn camera helps out. Now, over to the left of the screen now. Um, I'm gonna show the specs of this laser. Um, you're, you can read through that, pause it, rather than me saying it all out. And also in the description, I'll leave a link to the actual purchase of this laser. I believe it's roughly 250 pounds, I believe, um, the last time I looked. So, but like I say, double check when you click the link. So once again, thank you to ACMA for sending this for me to review. And like I say, throughout the rest of the video, I'm gonna be showcasing some of my projects that I've carried out on this and the ease of use. But before we do that, a quick word from our sponsor. And then after that, I'll do a quick walk around of the actual laser itself, some of the features in a bit more graphic detail. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel give me a little thumbs up, leave some comments in the comment section if you wanna ask any questions about this. Um, thanks again for all of the subscribers that have already been with me. 
We've just hit over 3,000 subscribers now. Let's keep that trajectory going up. Um, I appreciate everyone's time in watching this. Um, if you want to scoot through, there's loads of different projects. So this is the ACMA P110 watt laser. Carry on watching. Okay, a quick word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay.com. As you can see from the website, it's really easy to use. They have an instant quote system. They do uh, PC board prototyping, PCB assembly, rigid flex. Um, they also do 3D printing services and CNC services. So if you click on each of those different sections, they will take you into like a quote system where you can select exactly your requirements. They deliver worldwide and they have instant payments. They're, they're well respected within the um, prototyping community. CBWay.com, today's video sponsor. So let's take a quick look over the machine itself. So as I said earlier on in the video, it has the emergency stop switch. It has the on and off key. So you can take them away and it's always on or if you need to um, hide them away from idle hands. Uh, the on and off switch, it literally just cuts the machine out um, and then the emergency stop. To re-engage it, you just twist it and it re-engages. Um, it has the ruler across the X and Y, so if you're trying to work out where your model is, but like I said, I, I tend to use light burn camera. It just helps for doing the models. Then you've got the twisty knob on the top of the laser head, which lowers and heightens the laser height, and it's got a little drop-down guide on the side. The cable is protected with the um, cable trunking on the X and the Y. So... The honeycomb bed didn't come with this machine, as I said, um, but you do need that. It will help with cutting out, give some emergency labels on there, talking about not to leave the laser unattended. Um, and then you've got the air assist connection. Um, I do have air assist capabilities. Now I'm going to show you some quick projects now over the next few minutes. So check that out. From the nozzle to the bed, I'm dissecting the crime. Laser beams cutting through ahead of the blind. Stay tuned, I'm breaking it down. Click and subscribe. 3DP UK, where the vision's in play. From the printer to the beam, I'm leading the way. Watch me as I review, giving thoughts that are raw. In this tech game, I'm beating every flaw. Now I feel them in flow, and layer by layer we rise. I dissect the specs and check magic with my eyes. As I craft, yeah, build like a king With lasers precise, hear the sound of me sing Turning for the truth, watch the brilliance unfold So that's pretty much the end of the review. As you see previously to this, um, I've done a number of different projects with different types of material. 
Um, so I did some uh, batch plywood, three mil. I've done some MDF, four mil, and these all cut well. Now, I would have shown the settings for those in each of the segments. I did, um, so over here we've got this, this is MDF, this was a four mil. Um, it's just a Lilo and Stitch character. And that cut out with three passes, like I said. I'll leave the settings on each of the segments, so if you're interested, but always run some tests anyway, that's pretty much a given. Um, so this was a, like a, an image engrave of a fox, and then a cutout, and this is three mil birch plywood. Um, and I quite like to use this uh, scratch paper. As you can see, there's a couple of little birds set on a perch, um, and what it does is it lasers and takes off the black covering and, un and just reveals like a rainbow shine underneath, which I really like. Gives a really nice clean image. I think that took about 18 minutes. Um, once again, with some of the wood that was supplied with the laser itself, um, I think this is actually one or two mil, so quite thin. This only needed one pass at 200 speed and 100% power, just a little motorcycle. Um, also cut out on, once again, I believe this is 3mm MDF, but with like a black shine to it, and then it just reveals the colouring under there. I mean, you probably can't see it too well um, on the video, but it's revealed like a really nice, and that's the Acma sign. So that's quite cool, I really like that. Um, once again, I like to demonstrate that it do, do slate coasters. Once again, this is the birds, just two birds on a perch. Um, and that came out really nice as well, as you can see. Um, so overall, I really like this ACMA 10 watt laser. I had some issues originally starting it up onto Lightburn, but that was just some user error. Um, it was homing in the incorrect place, so I had a bit of a motor churn. Um, and on the ACMA, the front, it doesn't home to the front, it homes to the back left. So bearing in mind on the files that come with the USB card, it does have a downloadable light burn setup guide. So just literally put that in and it puts all the settings in, just agree to it and done. So like I said, I didn't do the unboxing and build on this particular model because they're very much the same. As I said earlier on in the video, great uh, instructions manual. So in terms of the way that it's laid out, it's, it's very easy, it, it helps. Um, not in this video, but in the next video coming up, probably in the next few weeks, I'm going to be connecting up the ACMA um, rotary tool. So this is so you can do bottles and all sorts of other things like that. And it just connects up using the cables, which come in the box here. Um, I just didn't think it would be worth adding it into this video because I wanted to concentrate solely on the ACMA P110 watt. Like I said, there is a 20 watt version. And speaking to the team at ACMA, I believe they have some interchangeable heads as well, which for me is a real game changer. Having a unit and being able to change it and upgrade it is really great. You don't, don't need to keep going out and buying a new laser to upgrade. So obviously uh, they don't, this particular model doesn't come with the honeycomb bed and it also doesn't come with air assist. However, it does have the, um, the ability to connect up air assist on the actual head itself. Uh, the honeycomb bed is mine, but these are relatively cheap to buy. You can pick them up on the ACMA website or you can pick them up um, at Fair Party. So in terms of the overall thoughts, great little laser for the price tag. It, uh, like I said, it's about 250 pounds in the UK. Um, easy to put together, very easy to use. Honeycomb bed is probably a necessity and being a 10 watt laser, you do need to do higher power and more passes on most average materials, a three or four mil up. Um, yeah, so once again, thank you to ACMA for sending me this unit to review. Don't forget to check out um, my six watt version and also look forward to any other reviews coming up soon. Um, 
once again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It all helps me and it helps me and tick the notification bell. This also helps to notify you when I bring any new products or I've, I've got any new news. Once again, because my channel has now gone over 3000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway in the next few weeks. Um, you'll see some more of that. So if you haven't already subscribe and you're based in the UK, you're in with a shout. I will be posting some details coming very soon. Once again, that's Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. Thank you for watching. This is the ACMA P110 Watt Laser Engraver. Take care everyone, Phil from 3DP UK.